Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to add a texture to an object inside of the Blender Render rendering engine for Blender, of course. So with this object here, it's just the starting cube. We can go into texture mode, clicking down here, and we can see that basically there's no texture assigned to it. It's just the model and that's it. Now how we go from this to being able to see something inside of texture view is that we basically have to take this and UV unwrap it. So what I'm going to do is go up here to the top right hand corner and drag it out to create a new window. And I'm going to take this window in the bottom left hand corner and I'm going to change it to the UV image editor window. So now when I unwrap this cube over here, it's going to show up over here with the uh, UV unwrap. So I can just select everything here by uh, clicking on the cube or double clicking A and hitting U on the keyboard to find unwrap. Now for more complicated um, objects, there's obviously going to be more steps into a proper UV unwrap, but here it's just going to be really simple. We're just going to leave it here as the default box unwrap for the cube because generally for a box that's just going to work out fine. So now what we have here is uh, basically it's UV unwrapped, but there's no texture showing up over it. So I'm going to select an image texture from somewhere on my computer and I'll just grab one that's pretty random. So let's see textures and uh, this dark word one texture. So it basically brought that in and now uh, this the, the boundaries of the box are basically uh, overlapping with the texture and whatever was in the texture is going to show up here. Because it's just a simple object, it's going to pretty much work out just fine with um, without really doing anything fancy like marking seams for the uh, UV unwrap or anything like that. And I would recommend if you do have a more complicated object, go check out some uh, seams videos and that should help you out. But here it's going to show up just fine there for our purposes right now. However, the moment we switch to a material viewport shading, you're going to see, hey, there's nothing there now. Even though we have the texture showing in the texture view, we don't see anything in the material view. So in order for it to show up here, and more importantly, in the render itself, we're going to have to add a material to this cube object. So in the outliner window, I can go over to this material tab, and uh, we actually do have a base material here, uh, which is I would assume what's showing up there basically, but the problem is that there's no texture applied to it So it's just the plain boring uh, Gray so we can go up one step more on any object that has a material to the texture tab um, Basically click to add a new one or we can just take this default one and change it to an image or movie by default I believe it is image or movie so if I hit new image or movie is the type we're looking for and uh, yeah, I'll just change the original one over to images and movie as well. And at the very basic level, all you need to do is go down here where you'll find image and open it much in the same way that we did with the UV editing window. So clicking on that, finding a texture on our computer, which is going to be basically any JPEG or PNG that was created specifically for this. And uh, combine it with the material to create our output right here. And uh, yeah, that's basically the general idea there. Uh, it works out nicely and it looks good simply because this is a really, really simple texture. It's hard to go wrong when your UV unwrap is just a box. At a basic level, that should work here. And we can go to the rendered view. It's gonna show up there. Of course, we could play around with the lighting. Um, and do some other stuff to it and obviously that texture to our object in the blender render engine and then finally being able to see that in the uh, render preview as well as a final render so might as well just go ahead and head and hit f12 and there's our final render Works out pretty well. If you did, consider donating to my Patreon, and I'll see you in my future video.